The North American Soparette. Born after the war in the 30s, the North American Soparette was a fairly common household pest until varying conditions and ruthless predators across the continent whittled down the population to just a few regions in the America's heartland. The critter itself is very curious with the world around it due to the fact it has existed a short period of time and having a brain made of various chemicals commonly found in most bar soaps. Scientists have yet to discover how exactly their brains can function. Their diets consist of the following, shampoo, conditioner, dead skin tissue, various soils, food crumbs, and also soap. Water and oils are extremely toxic to their bodies, making them the only animal on the planet to completely avoid water, the exception of that being the flower badger. Due to their genetic makeup, the North American soaporette can live almost an indefinite amount of time, but can easily be dissolved by most liquids. Once exposed to water, for example, they decay quite quickly, and all that will remain are the spine and legs. Like the no longer existent household rat, they make their nest out of the loose items they can find. Um, here we can see a mother and her wee ones nursing in a nest she has constructed. Be sure to tune in next time for our piece on the very rare flower badger. Okay, this is all fake. It's a misinformation PSA. With the power of technology, it is so easy to make anything seem real. Oh, come on though. If you're fooled by that, you're an idiot. For fuck's sake, it's a piece of soap with sticks ticking out of it. Come on! Bruh. I mean, not everything on the internet is fucking real. I mean, look at Facebook, for God's sakes. There's so much bullshit on that, it's so easy. Yet people are just so easily tricked by it all. You know, mo okay, most of the stuff on the internet is made for your entertainment, or just by some crackpot with a video editing software in his spare time. Misinformation is a serious problem in today's world. You know what? It's been a problem in the world forever, but the internet has made it much worse because of how easy it is to create something that's not real that seems real. Granted, most of the stuff that's made up that's not real, that you may, that may seem easy to seem real, no, it's not real. And if you think it's real, you're stupid. Pay attention when you're looking at stuff. Before you take something for fact, be sure to take a minute and use one of the computers around you, such as your phone, Laptop. Yeah, I see you with your fucking iPhone out, Jimmy. Put it down and pay attention to the damn video. Hey, I'm watching you in the back. So, you know, before you take anything as fact, be sure to check it. Be sure to find at least more than one source. Be sure to make sure those sources are reliable. Don't go basing your decisions and votes and conversations off of some headline from some tabloid. It's not that hard to check these sources. And you know what? If you don't have access to the internet... It's not hard to walk into any local public library, go to their non-fiction section, take off the shelf, open up, and look for something, and read. You don't even have to have a fucking ID to go in there. You can just walk in and read. No one's going to stop you. They don't care. They're not getting paid enough for that shit. I mean, what, I mean they'll let homeless people in there for God's sakes. Yeah, just, just check sources. Just check your sources. Check your information. Check the sources the information came from. If you're already online, it's not that hard. Just check it. Just check it. Wikipedia is wonderful for following for... Maybe not... It may not be the most reliable source. But it at least gets you started. You can go from there and check stuff from there. Now, if you can't access the internet, just go to your local library. Find the non-fiction section. If you don't trust the internet or your library, you're probably just crazy or in a part of the world where facts are hard to come by. You know, like China, North Korea... Russia. Now, if there is no library or internet access where you're at, how are you watching this video? 